Watch what are it. your thoughts on the Vikings taking down the 49ers? Well, I think first and foremost, what surprises me the most, looking back at the stats, is where was that run game at? Did the Vikings just completely shut down the, the 49ers offense? Because this is like, this is what everyone talks about, is that the Niners offense is run first, then like pass. But it was pass first yesterday, but their passing wasn't even that good. I mean, Brock Purdy threw two picks. I mean, and then the Vikings just had an, just a great passing game with Kirk Cousins, almost 400 yards. That was the second most by a quarterback this week. That's, in crazy. That's crazy. That's incredible. Like, what happened? Yeah, Kirk Cousins was unbelievable. It helps that he has the new Justin Jefferson on his team. Jordan Addison. Uh, Jordan Addison looks incredible. Um, in his first start, uh, I guess in his great. second start of the season, um, he goes seven receptions, 123 yards, and two touchdowns. Jordan Addison had a career game, and it's only and his, this is rookie season. It's only his second start of his career. He he still has a top five tight end. I mean, we're looking at a team where KJ Osborne, as the number three receiver, when when Justin Jefferson is healthy, that might be the best receiving core, the best top three receiving core in the league. Mm, I think that's um I think you need to let them actually play together. But well, I do they I, did. I, I can't they, say they have played together and they've all played well. I mean I mean over a little bit while. I think we need to see a couple more games, but I'm looking at this team I'm like I mean, who would you take over them for for mm, overall receiving core? I think cuz obviously you've got you, I mean if you're, I would taking, honestly, if you're just taking the top 2 it's the Dolphins, I think. We can all I think I think yes, but I think right now I mean probably Minnesota edges out this team I'm thinking about, but I think the Rams receiving core with Puka Nakua and yeah. Cooper Cup. I mean, the other it would be, two two Atwell is not really good, but then you have um, what's his name? What's his name? The tight end, um, Tyler Higby. Well, Hawkinson no, 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 is better no. than Higby. That's true, but he does great with the Rams. I mean, honestly, it's, he does. But but still, Hawkinson's definitely better. No, no, the Hawkinson's definitely better talent wise, but he's not like can outperform tremendously. Mm. I mean, if we look let's, at this, let's pull up the numbers. I actually want to want to see this. Let's uh, let's go uh, go to our go to, let's go to our tight end uh, stats here. If I can just find the stats, Hawkinson uh, against. Let's oh. see. Let's see. Let's just take all the tight ends. All tight ends. I wish all I the can tight ends. I wish. I wish. I guess you're not able to, but we can we um, can find them. Yeah, well, the first tight end in the league. Obviously, right now is Travis. Kelsey has the most yards. Yes. Then it goes uh And then Hawkinson. Hawkinson is second in yards with 380. 390. 390? 390. 390 for Hawkinson. And, and how many how Waller. many how many touchdowns does Hawkinson have? Hawkinson doesn't have many. He only has two. Two touchdowns, okay. Which is pretty good. And then you have Laporta and Waller, who are 380, 377. But Waller has one touchdown. Laporta has three. And then you have Mark Andrews, Ingram, Dallas Goddard. You have to go down pretty far to find Tyler Higby. So my my point uh he's yeah, I mean, only 241. 240 with no only with 35. no with no scores but that's so, only 35 yeah. or receptions or maybe was that and targets? how many no, no. 35 that was 35 targets that was on i think it was 20 21 21, 21 receptions 21 receptions and if you look at where's hawkinson at i just saw him hawkinson 47 so there's so hawkinson's a much bigger part of the offense than higby is for the Rams. right but when higby is getting the ball he's performing he's getting those yards he's 11.5 to hawkinson 8.3 so that's a well i don't know in my opinion yards yards per reception I think isn't, when isn't you, everything i know it's not everything but when you look at the talent that the vikings have and the rams i think the rams have a more impressive talent and who's who's got the highest average oh that's tyree hill 17 uh, well, it's nico no, nico me. collins george pickens josh reynolds uh, but and then like christian watson is fourth in, but he in average three, he nobody nobody percent. thinks christian watson and josh palmer are top receivers and they are no. currently top five so you i mean that is something I'm to not, consider, but saying... i agree the rams have a great receiving court yeah. too um but particularly with the vikings my 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 biggest take away from that game is kirk cousins I have been defending Kirk Cousins for my entire, I, I use this word very flippantly, my entire career <laughs> as a sports broadcaster uh, on YouTube, as a sports commentator on YouTube, I have been defending Kirk Cousins. He is one of five quarterbacks, no, four. He's one of four quarterbacks He's who are currently on pace to have three straight top 10 seasons. The other three are Patrick Mahomes, 
Josh Allen, and Justin Herbert. Joe Burrow is the other guy who could get into that category. He's been top two each of the last two seasons. He's not on pace to be a top 10 this season. I don't think Joe Burrow so, has over 1,200 yards passing. So if you're looking at, from a quarterback standpoint, and I know he, he struggles sometimes under clutch moments, and I know that he's not the best, but Kirk Cousins is going to have three straight seasons of being a top 10 quarterback, and the other three guys, we all, we, we all say that Mahomes is elite, we all say Josh Allen's great, and everybody loves Justin Herbert. I think, I think Kirk Cousins... I think he's a top five quarterback in the NFL. I think if you look at the stats and you look right here, he's second in the league in passing. That I don't think anyone would predict after week seven, second in the passing. But he has the most passing touchdowns and he has less interceptions than Tua, Allen, um, Hurts, Jalen Hurts, and a couple other guys. He's actually pretty f a proficient. Uh, yeah, and you look at the you look at the quarterback rating. He's quarter. sitting. He's not in the leading quarterback rating. Um, uh, Keenan Allen is actually, but he's thrown one pass. But all out of quarterback. actual quarterbacks, Tua is number one. Brock Purdy, who everybody hates after last night, is still number two in passer rating. And, and then it's, it's Lamar in third, and Brock Purdy in fourth. No, no, or, no Kirk, Kirk Cousins in fourth. Kirk Cousins ahead of Mahomes and Josh Allen. And so, Goff as well. And Jared. So I think Kirk Cousins is a top five. I thought I had him ranked in the top five going into the season, um, and I still do. In fact, I think I might actually move him ahead of Joe Burrow um, into the top four I right now. I think he deserves it. I think Kirk has been very proficient. It's like you can, you can bang on Kirk for not winning the big games, but if you're going to bang on Kirk, you have to bang on Herbert as well. But I think at some point you have to say the talent and the stats and the efficiency – from his standpoint, mm -hmm. outweighs the fact that his team as a whole isn't winning. Yeah. Same thing you say, you, you, we do it with Justin Herbert all the time. We make excuses for Justin Herbert's success because we know he is a talented player, even though his team isn't necessarily having that same success. Yeah. No, I don't know. I totally, that's, totally that's my take. I think Kirk Cousins is the most criminally underrated player, the most criminally underrated career a player has ever had. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy to see.